Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the Tennessee Titans and Arizona Cardinals Week 14 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between different data points. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So starting with this matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, when you look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, and basic comparison data essentially deals with uh, how the offense is doing, how the defense is doing, and of course how the special teams is doing um, based on all the uh, all the available information when it comes to this game. Uh, and when you look at that, when you look at that information, uh, it, it breaks pretty heavily for the Tennessee Titans. Um, it's definitely not a slam dunk like there's no way the Cardinals could threaten them per se but there's definitely a lot of positives that really point to the Titans winning this football game uh, so let's get into some reasons why uh, first off uh, the Titans have a much better offense uh, they they do not have as bad of a turnover ratio as the Cardinals do uh, the Titans also don't allow as many sacks as the Cardinals do. And I think the biggest indicator of all is offensive score percentage. The Titans consistently put up more points on offense uh, compared to the Cardinals. And that is a big deal to winning football games. Uh, I know sometimes I get comments about how that's kind of silly to say that, but it, it's just facts. You know, if you put, put up more points, you're going to win more football games. Uh, when you get to the defensive side of the football, though, uh, the Cardinals actually have the advantage here. Uh, better defensive offensive score percentage. So essentially the Cardinals are better at preventing points on defense. Uh, the Cardinals also have a better sack percentage. So they create sacks. They also create more interceptions. But the Titans create slightly more turnovers. Uh, fumble recoveries, those types of things. Uh, but the overall landscape of defense does favor the Cardinals in this particular game. Uh, and then when you get to special teams data. Uh, so you look at punt return yardage, for example, the Titans are favored. Uh, kick return yardage, the Cardinals are favored. Uh, defensive punt return yardage, the Titans are favored. Defensive kick return yardage, uh, the Cardinals uh, are favored in that regard. Field goal percentage is favored by the Titans. And again, as I say each and every single week, the most important special teams statistic you should be paying attention to is field goal percentage, which is where the Titans have it. So in many ways, the Titans have already won the special teams uh, sort of uh, battle because of that. On top of that, the Titans also have a better extra point percentage and a better punting average. In fact, right now the Titans have one of the best punting averages in the NFL and also one of the best since 1998. So a very long time. Very, very long time they've had that um, success. But the overall thing you should take from all of this information is that the Titans are favored on offense. They also are favored with special teams. And the Cardinals have a slightly better defense. But... When you look at it from the perspective of offense, special teams, the Titans do have it in both those phases of the football. And I think that'll be enough to kind of help them, uh, you know, get the W here, essentially, from a macro standpoint. Now, now that we've left macro data, let's get into some micro data. So down and distance data, uh, situational football, as Bill Belichick likes to put it. Uh, when you look at this particular area between the Cardinals offense and the Titans defense when it comes to completes percentage, Titans are favored on first, second, and third down. So the Titans have had a lot of success in terms of this particular area of the season, as I've said in previous videos. Uh, they just haven't been able to translate it in terms of um, other sort of success stuff. Uh, and then, of course, you look at the Titans offense versus Cardinals defense uh, when it comes to completion percentage. And in this particular area, the Cardinals are favored on second and third down. Uh, so again, the Cardinals defense, I think, will put up a fight in this game. Like, uh, don't expect this to, to them to be a pushover, I guess, is the best way to explain it. Uh, and then, of course, you get to rushing down. So this essentially deals with the ability to create first downs with the run and various downs and distances. It has nothing to do with yardage. It has nothing to do with explosive plays. 
All it has to do with is when it's first and 10 and you run the football, how often are you getting that first down? If it's third and two, how often are you getting that first down compared to the rest of the NFL? And based on all this information, uh, the Titans defense actually has it pretty single-handedly uh, on first, second, and third down. The Cardinals offense has not had a lot of success running the football this year. Then, of course, you get to the Titans offense versus the Cardinals defense when it comes to rushing downs. Uh, this particular area, the Titans are favored on first and third down. So I think the Titans should have some success rushing the football in this game uh, based on how the Cardinals have played up to this point. Uh, then you get to passing downs. Uh, Cardinals passing offense versus Titans passing defense. Uh, this particular area, the Cardinals are actually kind of favored on first and second down. Again, re reiterating the fact that was brought up with the completion percentage that for whatever reason, the Titans are able to not allow a high completion percentage on every single down but they're still allowing first downs to occur so they have a major breakdown in terms of their defense when it comes to that they're able to limit completions but the completions that are being made are ending are ending up being positive plays so that's the biggest thing i would focus on with the titans if i was a titans fan or i was in that room is that's the biggest breakdown that's that's occurring essentially based on what the data is saying at this point. Uh, and then of course you get to the Titans offense versus the Cardinals defense uh, when it comes to passing downs. And in this particular area, the Cardinals are favored on second and third down. Uh, so again, I think the Cardinals will put up a fight in this game. Uh, the Titans have not had as much success as they probably should uh, with their passing offense. And this is definitely an area to kind of keep track of in this game because of those factors. Then we get to sack rate between the Cardinals offense and the Titans defense. Uh, the Titans are favored on second and third down. Uh, so I think the Titans surprisingly might have some success rushing the football in this game in terms of getting sacks and those types of things in this game. Only because of how poor the Cardinals offense has performed in terms of preventing sacks. Then we get to the Titans offense versus the Cardinals defense uh, when it comes to sacks. And in this area, the Cardinals are favored on second and third down. So definitely success should be found in that down, uh, for example. Uh, then we get to interception ratio between the Cardinals offense and the Titans defense, uh, where the Cardinals are favored on second and third down. And then finally, finally, we get to the Titans offense for this versus the Cardinals defense in terms of interception ratio, where the Cardinals are favored on first and second down. Uh, and I think because of that, there might be some turnovers in this game. There might be some interceptions potentially in this game uh, because of that disparity there. Uh, so overall, general feelings about this game, I think it's a Titans victory. I think when you look at the overall landscape of the data, offensively speaking, I just think the Titans will be able to put up more points. Uh, I think the Titans defense might struggle a bit in certain aspects of this game because they usually do. Uh, whatever that breakdown is, it, it, it just keeps coming up in terms of the fact that they actually don't allow a lot of completions. You know, they they rel they have a very good ability to kind of limit completions, and yet they allow positive plays to happen despite that. Uh, so that's definitely something that's that's an issue, and I think it might show up in this game. But I still think that they'll find a way to win this game. Uh, so overall, I think it's a Titans victory. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, who do you believe is going to win this football game? And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always uh, reminded of when a new video comes out. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.